gonna stay here now. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and I'm guessing you clicked on today's video because you are needing some serious cleaning motivation. Well, you're in luck because today we are tackling an extreme all day entire apartment deep clean with me. We are also gonna focus on some small apartment decluttering and organization because I have not deep cleaned our entire apartment like this in a very long time. I scrubbed out a laundry basket, decluttered and organized under our kitchen sink, organized our TV stand, folded a mountain of laundry, and just so much more. But we got it all done, and I'm excited to share that with you today. So if you guys are ready to get into all things cleaning, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, and let's get right into it. This specific day, I did decide to put on my favorite country music station, made myself some coffee, and lit a candle to really help me get in the mood to tackle my extremely long to-do list. If you guys are struggling to find motivation to clean, I highly recommend doing something that makes you happy and inspired to clean. Whether it's watching a cleaning video like this, putting on a movie or a podcast, lighting a candle, making coffee, Anything that you can do to help motivate you is a great start. But anyways, I just threw in another load of laundry because we had a ton to get through. I did a few loads this morning and we we're just kind of continuing on with it to try to finish it all up. Once I got this white laundry basket emptied out, I noticed how gross and dirty it was. My husband does work outside, so there's a lot of sand and dirt that gets tracked in here and left at the bottom of this laundry basket. And I decided to bring it into our bathtub just because I had a lot more space in there. I ended up putting in a squirt of Dawn dish soap and I just used my favorite tub scrubber. I've talked about this many, many times. I'll have it linked down below. Um, I just used that to try to get all of the dirt off. It worked pretty well, I will say, but I did end up grabbing a rag and um, my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And that's what really made this process quick and easy. The black marks came right off and let me tell you, there were a lot of them. <laughs> but we have had this laundry basket for probably four plus years now and I don't think I've ever deep cleaned it like this. I quickly want to mention where I got these leggings from because the last time I wore them in a video, it was hands down the most asked question I think I've ever received since starting YouTube. Um, they were from Shein or Shine, however you pronounce it. And I think they're around 12 or $13. They have a ton of different options. So if you want these exact ones, I will have these ones listed down below in my description box. We are not wasting any time today and we are checking another thing off our to-do list and I'm heading into the kitchen now to completely deep clean, declutter, and organize this entire space underneath our kitchen sink so that it's functional for us. I'm in here every single day, multiple times a day, grabbing for different cleaning products or tools. So it is a very well-loved space and I do my best to put things back where they belong every time. And normally I do a pretty good job, but somehow over the last two weeks or so, it's gone from bad to worse. And here we are just ready to do something about it. You all know whenever I deep clean, declutter and organize a space, I love to follow the KonMari method. And the first step is always to remove everything or take everything out of a space. However, I'm not taking every single item out of this under the kitchen sink cabinet because First off, I have a few baskets that are in the back. One stores extra products and the other stores like products we don't use all that often, but still good to have on hand. And so since they are all still organized from the last time I did this, I'm just gonna leave them as is, save myself a little bit of time and effort. 
but everything else I needed to restock the dishwasher tablets. I put like products near each other and also put the most used or grabbed for products up front just to make it much easier access. Since we are creeping up on fall soon, let me know down below in the comments what your favorite fall scents are. As far as cleaning products go for myself, I love the acorn spice and the apple cider Mrs. Meyer sprays. I look forward to pulling them out every single year. When I was up at my mom's this last weekend and I was cleaning out my car, I grabbed one of her Mrs. Meyer sprays that she had and it happened to be the mom scent. I believe that is a fall scent, but that one smelled so good as well. I love satisfying before and after shots, so here is how the under the sink organization turned out. It may not look picture perfect, but if there's anything that I've learned from years of organizing different spaces is that it needs to be functional and work for you in order to keep up on it. I've organized spaces to make them look pretty, but they just ended up a mess in a few days to a week and all that hard work that goes into it went to waste. Maybe one day I'll get to the point where I can do both, but for now, this works just fine. While organizing the cleaning products, I did notice that I had two of the same multi-surface spray bottles, both of which were half empty, which who knows why, but anyways, I decided to combine them just to save on some space. And I also wanted to reuse the other one for a window and glass cleaner. A while ago, my husband filmed a cleaning video all on his own. And while he was cleaning the mirror in the bathroom, he squeezed our glass cleaner a little too hard and the spray bottle the spray bottle broke and we can still use the glass cleaner we just have to unscrew the cap which is so inconvenient and I have been waiting to find a bottle to reuse um, I decided to take the label off and it was really sticky so I was hoping by soaking it in hot soapy water that it would take all of the gunk off So I got the dishwasher completely unloaded and all the dishes put away. I let the spray bottle soak for probably 10 to 15 minutes in that hot soapy water. There was a little goo gone in there, but it didn't work. So I think what I'm gonna do now is try dousing the spray bottle with straight goo gone and letting that sit for a while. We are just trucking along today on our to-do list and up next is our TV stand. I love the idea of glass doors, but I hate it at the same time because we have nowhere else to store like our board games, but in here and they are such an eyesore. So I'm just kind of pulling things out and I'm trying my best to organize them a little bit better and make this area look a little more pleasing to the eye. I have thought about getting some baskets to put in these glass doors or on these shelves anyways, and Marsha and I did measure this space out once and we looked for the perfect size basket and I'm convinced at this point it doesn't exist. We couldn't find it anywhere. I think we looked for probably a month or two at least and if I'm going to get baskets, I want them to be the perfect fit or as close as we possibly can. Otherwise, it's just going to kind of take up a bunch of or it's gonna be like a bunch of wasted space, basically. If we get baskets that are smaller than this and living in a one bedroom apartment, we need all the space we can get. While I was just cleaning away, I happened to look down at my finger and I noticed there was something on it and it was red and I realized I had somehow cut myself. 
Um, there was a lot of blood everywhere. It was a pretty deep cut, but all is good. We got it cleaned up. We got a Band-Aid put on, and we are just moving on to more cleaning. While I was wiping down the TV stand, I decided to take a few decor pieces down and just kind of switch things up a little bit. I am going to be decorating for fall within the next couple of weeks, which I am super excited for, and I have been giving a lot of thought for what I want to do and how I want to decorate for the fall season. So I'm just picking up a few more things and this wooden sign sitting on our floor right now. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you would have saw that we used this sign to take our one year anniversary photo and we will be using it for every year going forward, which I am so excited about. So if you wanna see that picture and also I made a really cute Instagram reel, then go follow me over at olivia.n.sward. My husband Marshall made this sign using the wood from our backdrop that we got married under at our wedding and it turned out way better than I ever expected and I'm so happy to have this tradition. So if anyone has any ideas on how to remove sticky gunk from a plastic bottle after you peel the label off, please let me know down below in the comments. Hot soapy water and goo gun did not do the trick and I'm at a loss at this point for what to do. I'd rather reuse this bottle for window cleaner and glass cleaner than to go out and buy another plastic bottle, but I'm stuck. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get this gunk off, please let me know down below in the comments. Moving on to the living room, surprise, we got a new coffee table. Well, kind of anyways. This is actually a coffee table from my mom's house and it has been in her garage for a couple of years now. We decided because we couldn't find one that we loved, you know that if you've been following me since we moved in here, we have been on the hunt for a new coffee table and I have just not been able to commit to anything. I love a lot of them, but I don't want a lot of them because they're either too expensive or they're just not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and this one that we have is super affordable. It was free, which is awesome. So we decided to stand it, sand it down and then restain it a little bit darker. And I think it changes the space up so much and it looks so much more put together, which is awesome. And fun, quick little fact, this was actually the coffee table that my parents had when my sister and I were growing up. So it does hold a lot of sentimental value and we are just really excited to have this piece in our home. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, I think a week and a half ago, I shared a little sneak peek that I was working on some fall signs. And this is the one that I first made. And I absolutely love how it turned out. It turned out way better than I could have ever expected. Um, but I will be sharing a quick tutorial later this week or maybe early next week. I'm just trying to get a few more done um, just to give you all some other ideas on signs that you could make. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. That will just make sure YouTube sends you a quick notification when that video goes live and that way you don't miss out on it. Uh, but anyways, back to the cleaning. It has been a while since I cleaned this corner and I'm glad I decided to pull everything out because this bike was a lot dustier than I expected and the baseboards that were behind are, they're kind of hidden and definitely needed to be wiped down. Since we were kind of on the topic of fall, I would love to know when you plan to decorate for fall this year and what is your decorating style? Let me know down below in the comments. I love, love, love filming the fall clean and decorate with me videos, but I'm just on the fence. I'm not sure when I want to film and share it this year. I wanna be able to give you all some decorating ideas and inspiration, but I also need to still pick up a few more items for some decorating ideas that I have in mind.
It has been a while since I have deep cleaned spaces like this. This end table was getting pretty dusty. So here is your reminder to clean some areas or spaces that you don't always get to or places that you don't always think of. For me, it's spaces like the bottom half of this table, baseboards, doors, our TV is a big one. The front of our TV never gets too bad, but the back is always full of dust when I remember to clean it. This is the first time I've moved this basket in months and there was so much dirt and dust that was trapped underneath it. I decided to take out a few of the blankets as well just to make it look a little less full and I'm also counting down the days until I can put out a pumpkin pillow here and switch my welcome sign to the leaf. Anyone else excited to decorate for fall because I just cannot wait. We have officially moved into the bathroom and I need to get this counter cleared off and wiped down. This area is always such a mess of my stuff and I cannot seem to get it together. I'm just really thankful for a husband who doesn't mind or at least he never makes me feel bad for leaving my stuff all over the counter. I know it's a little late in the video, but I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who wished Marshall and I a happy first anniversary. We spent our Friday night just hanging out at home, which we have not done in months. I feel like we're always going somewhere or having other plans, and it was just really nice to have a night to hang out at our apartment on a weekend and not having to wake up the next morning for work. Um, and then on Saturday, we went to the Minnesota Twins baseball game. And then on Sunday, which was our actual anniversary, we went out to brunch with a couple friends of ours. It was a really great weekend and we had the best time celebrating our first anniversary. These wooden shelves were starting to collect some dust, so I decided to give them a really quick wipe down. I am going to be taking every single thing off these shelves when I decorate for fall, and that's when I had planned to give this area a really good deep clean. I have been cranking out the laundry today, I promise, even though I haven't necessarily shown every single time that I've switched out a load. You guys can see the mountain of laundry already started in the background right there on our bed. It is not going to be fun to fold all of that, but I do have a couple other things that I want to tackle before getting started on that project. I just want to look into your eyes. You know you make me feel like I'm alive. You are
I'm quickly back in the kitchen because I noticed our lower cabinet doors were getting pretty dirty. So I took my Method Wood for Good Cleaner. I highly recommend this stuff. And I just sprayed that all over, wiped it all down, and it worked like a charm just to take off any grease or food stains. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. We had never met before that time, but I just knew that we'd end up. You took it, you, you took it. Took away my loneliness. So because I forgot to share this earlier, this is another before and after shot of our laundry basket. It came out so much cleaner than I thought it would, and I'm really happy because I was under the impression it was never going to look good again. We jumped off the subway leading nowhere. Your warm hands rubbed off the cold around me. Heard you say that everything is all right, but how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day. I was lost in space, but you me down. We are finally switching out the last load of laundry into the dryer, and then we'll be heading into the bedroom to start tackling the mountain of laundry that needs to be folded and put away. It was a lot of work, so I did a little bit by myself and I ended up roping in Marshall after a while to kind of help me out with the rest. But I hope you all enjoyed today's extreme all day entire apartment deep clean with me. We tackled so much on our to-do list and I feel so accomplished. I clean our apartment all the time, but it's been a while since it's felt this clean, which is nice as we transition into the fall season. If you enjoyed today's small apartment decluttering and organizing projects, or if you enjoyed the deep cleaning, then I would appreciate it if you would all give this video a thumbs up and make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. Don't forget I have a lot of fun fall related videos coming out soon, including that easy DIY fall sign video that I mentioned, and I don't want you to miss out on that video. Um, if you made it until the end, please comment a leaf emoji down below in the comment section, but I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys.